Hi again, paddlers. Today I'd like to take you through um, another one of my favorite exercises with maybe a little bit of more body awareness and a different way to engage um, the, the whole glute muscle and the low belly in a very uh, simple exercise that we do all the time called the bridge. So for this exercise, I have a squishy ball. You can also use a, a yoga block or, or just something that um, you can put between your knees and, and give a little bit of information um, and awareness that your inner thighs are actually working in this exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and get into position. If you do a bridge, you already know where to go, how to make it work. Okay, so the very first thing that we want to do is have our heels close to our glutes, our butt, okay? So this is about, I don't know, you know, a palm width, something like that. I wanna take this ball and put it just between, not at the top of my knees, but about mid-thigh so that I can feel that my inner thighs are working. Now, I like to visualize that my um, quads are being wrapped around my, to the back body, which means that the low smile lines, if you've ever heard me use that term before, um, are engaged and are working down here by being pinched together. Now, prior to lifting up into the bridge, I mean, it's pretty easy just to lift up and down. What I want you to do is flatten that low belly. I want, I want you to take that low, low belly and just flatten it down to the back of the mat. Now, to lift, what I want you to do is pelvic tilt so much that you start to lift off. So here's neutral, here is a pelvic tilt. So I want you to just take, think about taking this area here, making this so rounded in here that you start to lift off the ground. So we're gonna go ahead, lift off the ground, thinking that we're just gonna keep rounding and lifting up. Now, in this position, I wanna engage that ball. I wanna keep my tummy really flat. I wanna pretend that my pubic bone is reaching through my knees. I wanna pretend that my knees are reaching towards the wall, and here's another key. I wanna feel like my heels are pulling towards my hips. So now my whole glute area is engaged. The final step in this exercise that makes it really effective is to take, think about taking your hamstring and pulling them towards your knees. So I don't know if you notice this, but when I'm in this proper alignment, my back my low back is no longer engaged in this exercise. And that's one of the reasons that I never used to like to do the bridge is I always felt it hurt my low back. So keep tummy flat, pubic bone reaching between the knees, knees reaching to the wall, heels reaching to the glutes, hamstrings reaching down to the knees. Now here's a really nice juicy stretch. Enjoy this. I'm going to take my arms back. Well, I'm going to try to take them back. I'm going to leave them back there and stretching and I'm going to roll down by rounding, keeping this area as high to the ceiling as I can for as long as I can, vertebra by vertebra, all the way down until your tailbone reaches the bottom. And that's one bridge. Let's see if we can do it again. I'm going to move down here so I can get a bit of a stretch. All right, here we go. Engaged, wrapped around, smile lines already pinching together, pressing into the ball, going into a pelvic tilt so much, so much that I have to start lifting up, pushing through the heels. Here I am in my bridge, my flat tummy line, pubic bone reaching that way, knees reaching towards the wall, glutes pinching together, hamstrings sliding down to the back of my knees, feeling good. There's your good bridge. Now, if you feel it in your low back at all, it means that this area here is not flat enough that it's not engaged. So to come out of the bridge, let's just go for a beautiful stretch, lifting our arms all the way back. Keep them back there. Keep them back there. 
Keep your knees where they are and roll down, pressing the vertebra, your shoulders, bottom of your shoulder blade, top of your tummy, top of your ribs, belly button, low spine releases last. Okay, paddlers, that is how I like to do my bridge. See if you notice that you feel any difference in the back body engagement in your bridge and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much. Bye.